Hey everyone, this is Brett DeWall with White Oak Security. Today I'm going to be talking about another Logical Doc um, remote code execution vulnerability that uh, a coworker and I recently discovered uh, when taking a look at the Logical Doc software. Uh, if you haven't, uh, go out to our website at whiteoaksecurity.com. Check out our blog post here, the Logical Doc vulnerability disclosure. Michael Rand and I walked through a couple different vulnerabilities that we did discover in this document uh, management system here. Um, scrolling down, so I already did a video on the XML external entity injection. Um, feel free to take a look at that video as well. Uh, the one for today I'm going to be talking about is the format converter command execution. Uh, so obviously if you watched the, the previous video, uh, you'll note that if you go out to the Logical Doc website, you can go ahead and actually download a virtual appliance, uh, load that up in like VMware Fusion, and be able to uh, start taking a look at this document management system here. Uh, so specifically, the version that we're testing against is the 8.8.2. Uh, the vendor has already gone ahead and confirmed a fix in 8.8.3. Uh, we have confirmed with them that it is fixed uh, and it is working as expected. Uh, so definitely, if you want to take a look at this exploit here today, just feel free to download the 8.8.2 there. Um, so taking a look at this, uh, the format converter command execution, you need to have actual uh, credentials to log into the application, specifically as like an administrative user uh, to get used or to get access to very specific functionality within the application. Um, a part of that, so the format converter uh, within the application, you're able to upload different documents or different file extension types for uh, specific files that are going to be stored on this document management system. Um, within the Logical Doc application, you can actually convert very specific file extensions to other file extensions. Uh, so in this case, we'll go ahead and I have the Logical Doc application here opened up. Go ahead and under the Administration tab here, uh, you can see there's different options for uh, you know different properties or configurations within the application. Specifically, we're going to look under the Import and Export uh, kind of dashboard here. The next one will be the Format Converters. Um, so these are different. Uh, uh, converters that come built in with the application uh, and you can see here the in and the out file so obviously if you uploaded a, a bat file you could convert it to a doc file it kind of so on so forth here one specifically that we're going to take a look at here on this side here is this image converter um, so if we go ahead here we can see it has a path value and a timeout value uh, if we go back to the blog post here Specifically, we're going to want to make a, a copy of this uh, command here. That's what we're actually going to paste in the path there. Uh, so when, what happens is essentially uh, when we try to convert a specific file utilizing the image converter um, uh, converter within the tool set, it's actually going to run this path command. Uh, so in this case, it's actually going to make a curl out to the our IP address of one of our web servers and pull down uh, essentially a JSP file, just a web shell, and then actually output it into the web root path. Uh, so over on this tab here in my terminal, I already have a web server running on 8888. So if I go ahead and input uh, that information in here, So we can see we have the IP address, um, we have the cmd.jsp, it could be anything that uh, you want to utilize there. Uh, and then this is obviously the, the web root path that we're looking at. If you wanted to output it to other directories, you definitely could. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit the save option here. We can see that the settings correctly saved. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to need to upload a, a file that utilizes that format converter. So we're gonna go here under the documents here. Uh, we can go ahead and click add documents. 
We'll go ahead here and on the desktop, I have this test.psd. So we'll go ahead and upload that here. Hit send and save. We can see that the file was successfully uploaded. Now, if you go ahead and right click on this file, you can go down to more and convert. Uh, so in this case, we want to convert to the PDF. And we also want to hit save here. Uh, once we hit convert, you can see that there is an error in the conversion because obviously it was trying to run our command. Uh, if we look over here, we can see that the, the application server did do a get request for that cmd.jsp. Uh, additionally, I do have um, a terminal opened up on that remote logical docs server. Um, I essentially, kind of prior to uh, uh, pulling that cmd.jsp, this is the web root here. You can see that the file is not there. Um, if we go ahead and do another ls-l, we can see at the top here there is that cmd.jsp file there. Uh, so it has successfully pulled it from our web server and written it to the, the web root there. Uh, so next up, what we can do here is we can close out of that and then let's just go ahead and try navigating to this. Perfect. Um, we can do ID. We can see that we are root on here. So we've successfully uh, executed um, uh, a command to pull down a web shell onto the remote system and we're able to access it. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.